Hello everyone, welcome to Toy and Talks. Thank for watching. Until I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye. Right. That, that uh, Bob Riske has been jailed for six months for Naira mutilation by EFCC. The news came out this morning and the picture is all over the place, including the pictures when he was being taken away to, to the jail. And it's so sad that what is really wrong, they are not telling us. They are not telling us what is actually going on. Remember a few days ago, VDM came out. A few weeks ago, VDM and Bobriski had issues and he accused Bobriski of benching some top, top police officers. He said, if not, if I don't carry him, he's saying gets, you know, and he was arrested for that. When he, by the time they were releasing him, they arrested Bob Risky. And the count on him was for Naira mutilation. I laugh. I thought it was a joke. Or probably they just want to have some conversation with him. Until this morning, I saw that he has been jailed for six months. Now, my question is, is it um, only Bob Risky that is praying money in Nigeria? Now, from the videos I'm, going to, I'm putting by the side now, these are parties, several parties in Nigeria that has been held millions of parties in that country people throw money anyhow people they do money anyhow and i think if there's anybody that should be arrested for naira mutilation it should be those market women where they squeeze money those market women where they dirty money those market women where they put money anyhow anywhere and anyhow those that combust conductor that individual and them creating awareness on how to that is public orientation on how to keep the Naira clean and beautiful. Is what you should do to those market women. Now, Bob Risky is praying money. This is one of the videos where he was praying money. He was not squeezing the money. He was doing it this way, neatly. Spraying of money has become a norm among us in that country. It is not new. It has been existing for generations to generation. So I wonder why it has become an offense that Bobriski has to be the first person to be a scapegoat. This was this video was after was just recent. This Tonya, this is Tonya Imaku spraying money too, just like Bobriski. This is the next video you are seeing is um this Pokotua guy, Potebu, throwing money into the air. So, what has Bobriski done that he has to be the only one you are arresting? If you are going to arrest, you should arrest all the old Nigeria. For that, this particular offense you are putting on um, Bob Risky, EFCC, this is a no no. You have done a bad job. You say people abroad in diaspora should return back home. Is this the country we will return to? A country where there is no freedom. A country where people, people, you use power to carry people anyhow and throw them into jail. Is that the country you will come back to? What is what is what is attractive about a country that will use people will use power on you? What is really the offense of Bob Risky? It cannot be naira mutilation, EFCC. Look for another thing. This is a no, no, no. A lot of musicians sing. You should arrest them too. A lot of people, high people in high places, rich people in that country, they go to parties, they spray money. You didn't arrest them. What did Bob Risky do? If it is because of his choice to life, the child choice to live in, that is his own cup of tea. Tea di baba get on di lomada. Kokonyi. Life to choose in inye. Kodiya kwa wamonyi. If your children now choose, some of you, your children are living the same life. Ti Bob Risky live. Ti ekpa ma be. Ti ekpa ma be. So, she she Bob Risky jale ni. Abo ni komi to she. Ti eh, jeka ye gbo. A bin konti very dark man. A kyuze. A to wwa. Ta mwa lok pa kon. Tony Boya mwa lok pa. Top o lok pa. They are involved in his life. Could that be the case? And you want to shut him up. By teaching him a lesson. We kwe bo shen flon to wo. Ten fun. Could that be the reason? Because look. If there is anybody you guys should arrest in that country. Better you do is still walking away freely. A billionaire was convicted yesterday. All over the place in one country, I've forgotten the country now, and sentenced to buy for fraud. There are a lot of fraudulent activities going on in that country, lots of corruption. All the corrupt corrupt politicians they are walking away 
walking around freely, flaunting ill-gotten wealth that is meant for the public, that is meant to give us better life in that country. You are not arresting them. You are arresting Bob Risky for spraying 400,000. Sheikh Badusha, EFCC. Sheikh Waoke, Sha. No, me will require Waoke. Teba Waoke, better you do. Ask the God to go and be suing newspaper houses for talking about her, exposing her. Show Gio Wa because Gio Wo, she's walking away for around freely. But I drew a vote on support G. Eh, ring ko There are so many other politicians in that country. So many other public office holder. See one Gio Wo ni lunye that are walking around freely. Eh, convict si one. And it's so fast, so easy for you to quickly convict Bob Risky. When you are doing your own case of top top politicians that are stolen that have stolen our money, the money meant for for our children to give us a better life in that country that made a lot of us to relocate and leave that country for you. You 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 take years to do the case. At the end of the day, the person will walk around and be going around. Is either they pretend they broke a neck or they broke a back or they have stroke and you tell them to go. And that will be the end of the case. We won't hear anything again. Bob Risky Lori 400,000. EFCC. Nigeria. This is why when we are talking that, that that country is not a country, you will say, eh, we should pray for Nigeria. No, we can't pray for a country that is using law. Lati mua mwyo amwo mekunu. Lati mwen it's your new voice, the voiceless, and use it against them. No, we will not pray for such country. That country, I don't see what to be proud of. What has Bob Risky done? What has Bob Risky done to you guys? She effect pale no more so that he will not expose. Effect pale no more because he was flaunting the money. Of course, some of us are questioning. Some of us are questioning where Bob was getting money from. Yes, we were questioning it. We were like, we were like it can't be endorsement money. So is it because VDM or Punyashi? Our some of us we have we can think we can think something is not right here. Four hundred thousand. Where when a lot of people surrounding you want to share you bear law and are walking around. Eh, that one yet be. Eh, be one. Eh, lost that one. Yeah, um, it's like you have to you don't know what is mutilation again. You don't know what's mutilation. Mutilation me kwe kon bank kon je kon janya manya ma kon shenya manya ma kon tenya manya ma mole. That is mutilation. Kon do tin kon. I was um, Bob Risky mint lo no. Bob Risky was spending meat. Mint. I was mutilated in Naira. EFCC. You are not going to the street people. That are really mutilated, that are really the ones mutilating the Naira. You can't even, the Naira, you can't keep it in your purse. It will be smelly. I don't take Naira back when I'm coming. I make sure I spend anything remaining. I say everybody should, people around me should just pack it. I don't want it. Because in your purse, in your bag, it will be smelly. Yes, you are not going for those ones. You went for for, for him. Is it that 400,000 is too much for? It's too much for if, so, if somebody like him or what? Or he's exposing where he's getting the money from. He has unconsciously exposed that he has some powers behind him. A welfare teacher to keep him silent. EFCC, this is a no-no. You have done a good, bad job. Go and arrest all those politicians that are stealing money. Go and, go and carry those ones. Go and carry those public office holders that are stealing our money. Those contractors, you will give money at what contractor. They will not do it. They will pocket the money. Go and arrest those ones. And leave Bob Risky alone. He has chosen his life. It's his decision. Let him live by the consequences. It's his decision. It is his right. Don't take his right away from him. EFCC. Don't silence him. Silence him. I'll give that bow. Give, allow that guy to go. And go and arrest the thief in that country. Nonsense.